Hello again viewers from beautiful Cyprus, quite funny. There's this wee cat here, and it literally just went on that girl's towel. It was just lying next to her, they were chilling out together. There's cats all over here. If you're a cat lover, you love Cyprus. Well, let's talk about the unfortunate truth. I've really enjoyed my trip here. This is my favourite place. So this is the road to Prenira. Take about 20 minutes maybe, walk all the way along there. I stopped at a bar on my way back there. Uh, was it Zafros or something like that? Somebody recommended it. It was a nice wee spot, just looking out to see. It is beautiful here. So, we're just going to head along here to my favourite resort that I visited on this trip, Prataris. My favourite place that I've been. I'll tell you why in a wee minute. We will also discuss the pros and cons of coming to Cyprus. Let me know if you agree, viewers. Now, this is where you get the boat trips. There's various things on offer here. You can swim with turtles, you can go and see uh, Famagusta, various other things as well. I seen a group coming off here, maybe a group of 20 people, and the guy was speaking to them and all, they all looked like they having a great time. So I've not been on any boat trips, but I can tell you the guys who come off this boat here were absolutely loving it. They all had a smile on their face, they were laughing. They gave the guys a wee round of applause. So it was nice. This guy's just fishing here, chilling out. Beautiful, isn't it? The water is so clear here. It's, I've not really seen anywhere like it. So let's take a wee walk about. about um, we'll walk along here. My hotel's just down here. It's got a wee bit windy, it must be 29, 30 degrees, but it's got windy, so we'll see. Viewers, I might need to edit this one if you can't hear me. I'll try my best. So let's talk about the unfortunate truth. Now, I really enjoy my trip in Cyprus. Definitely would come back again, no doubt in it. To do videos, for sure. Let's talk about the pros and cons, but first of all, these beaches are amazing, absolutely beautiful. Prataris has got everything you need for a great holiday. You've got loads of bars with entertainment, lots of traditional taberna ones as well. So it's a bit of a mix, you've got a few chains, you've got hotels right in the seafront, very compact. You've got Fig Tree Bay up there as well. Let's say you're looking at another resort. You've got Paphos, which is quite interesting. I really enjoyed Paphos, apart from when I fell and hurt my arm, that was my fault. Um, I really enjoyed Paphos as well. Limassol, the marina and the old town is beautiful, really nice. Didn't see much of Larnaca, only seen the marina, wasn't sure about that. Ayanapa, the strips for the young ones really isn't it? Um, but there's some nice wee bits in Ayanapa that I did do a couple of videos on as well. So a really good mix Cyprus, a very very good holiday destination. If you're coming here, especially at the start of the summer, or maybe towards the end, the weather is fantastic. I'm filming this in May and the weather has been brilliant. The last couple of nights it's been roasting as well. No need for even fleeces or cardigans. I've only had a wee fleece on because of my injury to my arm. I've been hiding it. Um, so it's a fantastic place for all year round weather. But viewers, the truth is, in the summer, lots of people tell me it's too hot here. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. Now, I've not been in the summer. I can only tell you from speaking to holidaymakers, I've met some viewers of the channel here as well and also I've spoke to a couple of guys that work in the hotels as well and they tell me the summer and the humidity here is unbelievable. So I don't think I personally would come here in July and August because it might just be too hot, the weather's too good. Um, which puts it at a big disadvantage compared to other places because although places like the Canary Islands that are just a wee bit below the flight time here it's pretty hot, it doesn't get that humid and in the wind, in the summer months the temperature only goes up slightly during the day, it's a lot hotter at night but again it's an all year round destination, Cyprus can get a bit colder in the winter as well so if you've got a choice in the summer between a two and a half hour flight to the Algarve or Mallorca or Ibiza and the flight back to Glasgow tonight is taking me five and a half hours with Jet 2. Five and a half hour flight. We're verging on long haul. So that's the big disadvantage, that's the truth. The flight time, I don't really like flying that much. I know I'm on a lot of flights, I don't actually like flying much, right? But the flight times I now look at during the summer, the summer that's why I've not been going to Tenerife much during the summer because the flight time's too long, four and a half hours to Tenerife. Don't mind it in the winter because you get the guaranteed weather. But in the summer, I'm going to pick a quicker flight. I'm going to go to Malaga, three hours. 
Um, I'm going to go to Mallorca, Ibiza, two and a half hours sometimes, the Algarve, two and a half hours. You can even go to mainland Spain, Barcelona, Costa Brava, Costa Dorada, just over two hours sometimes in a flight. So the difference in flight time put Cyprus at a disadvantage, but there is a positive to that, and let me tell you what it is. Let's imagine Frataris and Cyprus was a two and a half hour flight away, pretty similar to the Algarve, pretty similar to Mallorca. Prices, I think, would go through the roof. I'm staying in the Odessa Beach Hotel just up here, and I paid £65. It's a nice room, it's a nice hotel, bed and breakfast and evening meal. Now, I think if Cyprus was two and a half hours away, you honestly would be struggling to get a hotel room during the summer. It would be jam-packed because it's a nice place. And these resorts get quite a lot to offer. I mean, look at the beach. It's pretty nice. So, there is an advantage, I suppose. Prices are pretty affordable here, I'd say. Kind of mid-range resort. But I think if this was a short flight away, you'd see a big, massive increase in prices because loads of people would consider Cyprus they would do it for a change. I've met quite a lot of people here who've came to Cyprus numerous times, year after year, over 20 years. There's some really nice beach bars here as well. Look at this. How comfy is it just sitting here? So again, just imagine, two and a half hours away and you've seen a deal for Cyprus in summer. You'd be tempted to come even two and a half hours away and you're looking at start of the summer, April, May, even end October. Cyprus would tempt you. The flight puts a lot of people off because it's so long. On the plus side, but there is an advantage. And coming to Cyprus, Tenerife South Airport and quite a few other airports I go to are often shambolic on the way home. I've not had my return flight yet. I'm going to Larvika Airport tonight. Hopefully if I get there, viewers. But the, the journey in here, I arrived from Naples and I skipped the queue basically. It would get fast-tracked because I had a British passport. Whereas most of the other resorts, you have to wait in the big queue. So there is an advantage in Cyprus, you can get through the airport probably quicker. And that does affect people's decisions. If people get fed up just hanging about airports. So there's a wee pro for you. But there's the con, the flight time is long. Let me know in the comments, does the flight time to Cyprus put you off? When you see these beaches, you're like, oh, don't know about that. Turkey's in the same category, I'm going to try and get Turkey as well. Turkey's in the same category, the flight time five hours and long transfers to resorts that puts a lot of people off so it puts them at a disadvantage but it's a nice place and I do, I do I do feel the unfortunate truth is that the flight time and the absolute heat in the middle of summer will put some people off Cyprus but I've also spoke to people here as well who said when you get here it's worth it but you'll love it and you'll come back for years to come so there's an argument for and against maybe we should be thankful it's not a short flight away because prices would go through the roof look at some of these hotels right on the seafront and I can tell you now I looked at some of these hotels and they were under £100 a night for half board there was one thing under £100 for all inclusive now I know you can't always get those prices but look at the location you're looking out to sea we're in May, it's nearly 30 degrees. So the unfortunate truth is, Cyprus is pretty nice, but it's a long flight away. And that's a shame. I think I'll come back but do videos. We'll see how the videos do in Cyprus. If they do well enough, I will definitely come back. I'll try and see and go to some new destinations that I didn't uh, go to in this one. But I've enjoyed the trip. The, the buses take a long time as well, that's another thing. There's no trains. The buses take a long time to get from resort to resort and at the time of filming you'll need cash to go on the bus as well so they've got quite an old-fashioned system so don't forget if you get on the bus you're waiting at a bus stop for half an hour and the bus comes and you end up with no money you can't go on the bus that's a disaster isn't it <laughs> be aware as well like almost every other country i visit you'll get serial queue jumpers at the bus stops so you could be waiting half an hour on the bus Somebody turns up two minutes before you and they'll step right in front of you and just go on the bus because the seats are limited. Quite often the buses are full and you have to wait the next one. So that is another 
unfortunate truth you have to be aware of that the public transport system, although it's okay, it can take a while to get about and transfer from place to place. Car hire, but I believe is very cheap, and they drive the left hand side, so that's an advantage in Cyprus. So there's pros and cons. Let me know what you think. I think if you're thinking the end of summer or the start of summer for a hot destination, you might want to consider between the Canaries and Cyprus. The flight time is not going to be too much of a difference. Sometimes the flight to Tenerife back to Glasgow is four hours, 45 minutes. So it's not far from five and a half hours. We'll see if it does end up five and a half hours because sometimes they say that and then you go in there and they say, oh, we've got tailwinds or headwinds, or whatever. It's going to be a bit quicker. It could be a bit longer, mind you. It could go the other way as well. But five and a half hour flight, I am not looking forward to that flight. Beautiful here, isn't it? Nice. So I think I kind of summed it up really. Got a lot going for it, Cyprus, but a couple of main disadvantages: the flight time, and then the summer it might be too hot, especially to get young children. It sometimes can reach up to 40 degrees here, I'm told. So that just might be too much. You've been in the shade the whole time. It's nice in the shade, mind you. you can't really complain. Okay, viewers. Let me know what you think. Give me your comments below. You think they're quite valid? Pros and cons. Enjoy my trip here, I hope to be back again. It's a lovely place. Don't forget, give it a wee subscribe just there, it's absolutely free, it doesn't cost anything. If you're on your TV, just click the wee camera icon on the left hand side. Check out all my other videos in Cyprus, I'll leave a link up here to the playlist, you can just click on it. You can sit and binge watch Cyprus videos all day long. I've got videos in Prataris, Limassol, Paphos and Ayanapa. And hopefully I'll make it back again next year and I'll do more videos for you. I've enjoyed my stay here. Really glad that I came. Um, I'll recommend it definitely, but there is a few disadvantages. But look at this. Thanks for watching viewers. I appreciate it. If you've watched to the end, you're an absolute superstar. You help me out so much. My hotel's just around the corner. Time to go nearly. Oh dear. Goodbye Cyprus. See you again.